we need to do, I discovered that we did not actually create a, a page for for our blog. So I think that, that's actually why we, we ran into this, into this uh, problem. So let's go to dashboard. From the dashboard, pages, all pages. As you can see from the, our pages, we don't have a page called blog. So where do we want our post to save to? So that is the challenge. So all we need to do is to create a blog here. Create a page, add new. And we're going to call it a blog, right? Publish, publish. So once the site is published, then we'll go back to the dashboard. Then we'll scroll to uh, setting. We'll go to reading, reading. Here we are going to set our pages. So we we'll set a uh, a home page to our page, our home, the one we created. Not the one that come with the website, with the template rather. Then post page, we we'll now select our blog. From here, we can now hit saving. So once that is done, from pages, all pages, as you can see, we now have blog, post, uh, our blog page now is now the post page. That is where all our posts are going to. So we can view the page from here. Right click, open a new tab. Then if we also scroll down, now we discover that just home, which is the, the home page we've been working on since we designed before, is now at the front page of the site. As you can see, this is the post that I just made now, right? Okay, so let's see. Let's view the post again and see what we have. So at the end of the day, we discover that on the individual post page, so the caption, the picture image is not showing, but it is actually showing on the blog page, which is okay. This is where it's meant to show. So what we are going to do is to add, whenever we're adding a post, we add, it depends on the team that you're using. Before you do this, once you add a feature image to your uh, your post, then view the post and see if the feature image actually appear on your caption, like when you click read more to see the detail of uh, that blog post. So if the picture is showing here as it is showing on the blog page, if it is showing on the individual post page, then you don't, you don't need to add it to that page again. But if it is not showing, all you need to do is to go back to your post here and add it between this title, right? So all I'm going to do now is to come here. So all I need to do is to come here. It's not showing there. It's to come here and hit uh, this plus icon. And now we select image. Now add it from the library. If you don't have it in a library, you can upload it and select, right? So this one I'm having, so I can, uh, with this, I can move it up, okay? So if I hit update, then I'll come here and refresh the site and see what I have. Okay, I'm now having this, okay? This is the picture. Digital marketing strategies, right? So if you are visit your site, read all your blog posts and uh, and make a comment at the end of uh, the reading and the rest. Okay. So once that is done, we can. Uh, okay, let's. Even go to our site. Let's go to the home page and see what we have. If the home page is set as the home page of our site, 
Okay, so we now have this as our home page. Right? So the default home page that comes with the uh, the team has gone because we configured our own home page. Now it is showing our home page. So there's something I'm going to do uh, on this page. I'm going to change this uh, to a dark uh, overlay before I proceed with uh, our blog post, a quick one. From here, uh, just click uh, Navigator so that I can select the section which is here. Which is here. Then from uh, Style, then scroll down to Background Overlay. Then make it black. Okay, you can hit update. The reason is I don't want the background of this menu to be at the same color as the overlay of this uh, caption. So from the home page, you can now see that okay, we have a, a dark overlay here, which is different than this from this uh, navigation color. And at the end of the page, you find out that yes, this is the post. Our post has changed. We now have this as a blog post. So we are going to leave this page like this and continue adding our our posts. Right? Okay. From new new post. So the same procedure, we'll go back to our test, then the next one is this, which is still with respect to digital marketing, an online sale booster, come here, paste that right up here. From here, I can select uh, the picture, the picture image. I don't need to add my right up first. Now that I, I discovered that, okay, this very thing does not support individual post page picture so i can select my picture from the library or otherwise i will upload it so i'll select this open you can select it from here okay this is all we're having uh we're not use this for this post anyway i'm going to change it later well for the sake of this training i'm going to leave it for now the next thing is to add the right up, which is this. Now come here and add another block. Right? Okay. I can add uh, space here. Let me see. Spacing between the picture and uh, this spacing, I can make the height 50 or as the case may be. So I'll have a minimum space, a minimum space between the picture and the right top. So from post at the right side of the screen, I'll select category digital feature image. Then I'll choose the same picture, which is uh, this, right? Set. Then I'll hit publish from here. Can view the page, the post. Now we have this. We have this okay recent post is, is counting showing our post category we're only working on digital marketing that's why i only see that category here okay so the next thing is to visit the home page again refresh and see what we have here discover that we're having two posts here 
this and this so a user can click and read more and as well as click here and read more so once we are done once we add our navigation menu so user can click a uh, blog page here to visit uh, our blog uh, post All right okay so from from dashboard anyway you can click create click here to add new to add another post All right while that is loading so I want to visit all pages. I want to view the blog page again. Right click, open new tab. Okay. So I can drag this here. Just to change position. This is all blog now. Okay. So this is how the blog is going to show. The most recent to be at the top, you know, continue like that, like that. The user can click to read more. Once they click, to take them to the detail uh, of this page, right? Okay. So we can add more. Come here and say, okay, digital marketing as an online engine that drive uh, more sale just post paste it here from here i will add a picture from library upload select okay you can choose this image for now once it's done uploading select from here right so at the end of this we need we need to add a space a space of uh, 50 then the next thing we add paragraph we can come here select our paragraph copy and uh, paste it here okay this is how you publish article to your blog from post I can select category of uh, post then feature image what am I dealing with digital marketing so I'll just choose this picture that I just uh, recently uploaded then publish publish once it's done, we can view the page and uh, we can as well create uh, a space between or uh, a right of ladder. You can add a header, maybe uh, the header 3. Okay, so I'm going to remove it. Remove heading. So what I'm going to add here, maybe it should be a column, All right? I'll add a column, a single column, as we used to add in Elementor. Then in this column, I can add uh, an element, or just add the header one header three rather then then I can come here okay so this column from here I can go to block then uh, click to edit I can uh, reduce this spacing Right, maybe something of this nature. Maybe I may say, okay, let's give it a border. Right, the 
then I'm going to give it color in fact let's stop with this time let's just take it off here i don't need it yes this is actually to add a text here and link it to uh, another page anyway remove color that's all I hit update and uh, have our post uh, this way. Let's refresh this blog page. Okay, now we have another post. So we have about three uh, blog posts on our site. So if you visit our home page, so we should have the third one displayed here okay so this is how it works so for every time you make a post it keep pushing the, uh, the previous ones away the most recent post will be the one to show here right so you can click here and read more there are comments you you can see the number of comments you can see uh, the date in which the post is being uh, made and the likes okay okay let's continue adding more posts right click add new posts Okay, so the next thing is, uh, is software, and what we have here is uh, important of uh, chat GPT content generation as a topic. They will come here to add the picture, upload. I think it's this, right? Once it's uploaded, you can now come here. We are going to add space. This space will make it 50 height. They will add a paragraph where we can now switch back to our right top and the bring in the text right okay so you can uh, centralize this you can say me do right publish okay there are more to do before publishing Select software from the category. They will choose the feature image from the library, which is this. It's can publish, publish. From here, you can right click and uh, view the post. Okay, so we discovered that uh, the feature image is bigger than the, the content. So all we're going to do is to go back there and uh, select uh, full width update. Let's see full width request. Full width is okay. So can add more new posts. So if you visit our home page, we we'll discover that what is here, the most recent post is what is now showing up, which is this important of chat GPT content uh, generation, right? 
ओके सो वो आर गोइंग टू डू हियर वी आर गोइंग टू लिमिट दिस टू शो ओनली ओनली थ्री थ्री पोस्ट सो वी कैन एक्चुअली क्रिएट ए पेज ऑफ आवर ओन इफ we are not pleased with uh what this blog page is showing this arrangement of uh, the blog page seems i've closed it so if we are not pleased with uh so if we are not pleased with the setting of this page right so we can actually uh create our own blog page and make it all the posts to show the way this uh, post is showing here which is actually the best and that's what we are going to do right okay Okay, so we're not going to use uh, this page. So we're going to create a page, add new page, and we are going to call it uh, news. We are going to call this page news. Publish. it don't publish we can hit edit with elementor so once that is loaded we can go back to this home page because we are going to need use this as uh as a template so we are going to click edit with elementor too, because we need to save this as a template and import it here so now that we are here all we are going to do is to save this as a template right click save as template and now see underscore post underscore template All right click save so it is done. now having this here block post so we can close this and the uh, click close this navigation from here you can click this and uh, search the query post per page should be try here you should have only to show you on the home page right okay So from here we we'll now need to put a button put a yeah a button a call to action button so that if a user want to read more or view all they can click the button and go to the blog page and read all that we have there right so in that case I'm going to come up here and uh, duplicate this drag it down keep dragging it till it gets to the destination So now we're there. You can say view all. Right. So we can centralize it. Or we can push it to the end, as the case may be. View all. I think it will be okay this way. So let's see how it's uh, shown on mobile.
view all okay on tablet it is this way so on tablet i think we can uh, let's see Fifty, fifty, twenty, twenty, fifty by size. Okay. So this our uh, view all. We can bring it here. Let's see what we have here again. Okay. The alignment is one. Okay. We can leave it this way. Update. Okay, I think that is that about uh, the home page. So you can click this button and link it to that uh, page. News. News page. Update. For now, we are done with the home page, so we can go back to our uh, news page. News page. So, from the first thing we are going to do is to import our header template. Which is this uh, header. Insert. Do not apply. So from here we can change this to blog. So we can now uh, import You can import the template, which is this blog. Do not apply. It's ABX Cyber Tech News uh, and updates. News updates. Right, so here we are going to change this. Uh, can click this from the home page, you can change the design maybe to classy. Okay, this is what the classy is all about. So as we continue adding posts, so it keep pushing down, pushing down, pushing down. So this will be our blog page, right? So you can view more, you can read more. You can right click, open in the new tab, right? To go and read more about this uh, post. So this way, we can also design this individual blog page. Though it's a matter of time, it's something that we can achieve. We can design this page and be importing the template each time you are making a post. Right? Okay. So we can update this page and preview. Okay, so this is what the what the page shows. So this is our blog page. It's actually okay this way. So at the end of that, I'm going to change this uh, picture. I don't like it there. Right? 
is our first post and this is the, the, the recent one so it keep arranging itself like that so now i'm going to set it post uh, page is six right let me see something let me say post per page three and see what will happen okay so we can actually make this uh let's say it we want to show it on a page right for now this is uh this is for let me see okay let's say nine so that we have three three nine or uh, twelve so we have three three into into four so we'll be having four row right so that would be okay so after that we can have pagination now pagination if you scroll down from pagination you can say okay it should be uh let's let's use numbers and see what we have okay the pagination is not showing because do not exist 12 so let's reduce it to let's say 2 and see and see the pagination so we now have this next previous and next that's if the user want to see more they will click next to load more of uh, okay let's update this and see the page okay we update the page so we can click next to see what we have okay it take us to the, the next page which is the next two posts so we can hit previous and it will take us back right so that's a good one so let's say we use a uh, numbering numbering okay we'll be having one two and the next okay so let's say we have infinite scroll no i don't want that a user will keep scrolling your page and the post will never finish no. so let's click on load on click and see what we have okay it actually bring a button uh this button let's see if we can change the color okay you click to load more okay you keep clicking it keeps loading more loading more okay it's not going to load the engine but it has exist at the page okay so all we're going to do here is to see if we can change the color of this um go to pagination from this pagination that we can have our color the color is pagination 